I've been carving for 25 years, and now I got together a, the perfect lineup, in my opinion, as far as saws are concerned, from one size all the way up to the big daddy. So most all my carving jobs, from big to small, usually start out with my big daddy saw. I use this saw to make my big cuts on my log, my block saw, if you will. So then I work my way down onto this saw. It has about an 18 inch bar, but look at the tip. This is where I want you to look at. See the diameter of that tip? This point right here is what we call a quarter tip because it's the diameter of a quarter. And it allows you to really get in there and do some fine detail, but I still have the length of bar, so I'm able to do some roughing with it still. This bar is specially made for wood carving. I do 90% of my cutting with the tip of the saw. That's where all the detail comes out in a chainsaw carving. As a starting carver, you want to keep your hands firmly on the handles because when you're plunge cutting, you know, you're carving with the tip of that saw. And it's going to want to go all different places. And then after I'm done with this guy, we move on down to the little guy. What's cool about this one is it still has a quarter tip, but it has a lot shorter bar. It has less leverage, so when you're carving, you, it allows you to get more detail without the saw kicking back. Woo! And then I come up with a really cool way of racking the saws. So if you can see right here, I have this old stump. You just plunge it in there and then kind of leave it be, and it makes the perfect rack because it doesn't chew up your chain. Um, it keeps it out of your way so you can move around. You're not tripping on your saws. And then most of all, you're not keeping it on your bench, so you can use your bench for work.